Warning. The show you're about to see contains material unsuitable for children and questionable among most adults. Viewer discretion is advised. Warning. The show you're about to see contains material unsuitable for children and questionable among most adults. Viewer discretion is advised. Charlotte, North Carolina, he is a 16-time World Heavyweight Champion and a two-time WWE Hall of Famer. Put your hands together for the Nature Boy, Rick important night of my life because of you, Phoebe Rulier. <laughs> Thank you. Go, Rick. Thank you. Woo! I have traveled all through the land from Charlotte, North Carolina to Atlanta, Georgia to Greensboro, North Carolina to Tampa, Florida, to Orlando, Florida, <laughs> to Miami, Florida, to Memphis, Tennessee, to Knoxville, Tennessee, <coughs> Dallas, Texas, Houston, Kansas City, St. Louis, San Francisco. <laughs> Where were you? Get out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> it was over at SNL and she And hey, I am so Andy. pleased to be here hosting a special with Gary Mulcair! Woo! And Gary Karen G! Woo! And Bill from Accounting! Woo! And I'll talk more about my career, my life, in just a little bit. <laughs> but if you want to call it, call Woo! 212! 757 1393 and tell me about moments in your life that make you go, Whoa! <laughs> now it's time.
for a joke of the week. Help me to make this. There you go, buddy. Yes, it's me. It's going to be back. It's me, Steve Lenz. Yeah, okay. Yes. Uh, help me, Lord. It is, okay, it is good. Woo! Yes. Oh. Woo! So happy. Okay. So happy uh, to be here to everybody. And of course, the number one to you, uh, Mr. Flair. I, I've always uh, followed your work. Uh, you know, everybody's talking about professional wrestling these days. Woo! You know, yes, yes. And uh, I always thought that I could be a professional wrestler. I mean, you've heard of The Undertaker. Me, I would be the overeater, folks. Okay, you guys know what I'm talking about. Give it up for that one, huh? Okay. He's fat! Y yeah, okay. He's fat! I, well, I, you know, it's part of the humor and the charm. Woo! Okay, well, you know what I'm telling you. You know, maybe I should be a wrestler because uh, sometimes the career is not going well. With my comedy career, I feel like it's Kane and unable, folks. Okay, you guys know what I'm... Okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> You know, uh, I have an interesting uh, wrestling story. This is a, a good wrestling story. I think you might appreciate it. You might remember, of course, uh, Randy Poffo, who uh, you might know better as... Uh... Randy Savage! Yes, yes, of course. I hate his guts! <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, we have a, a funny story, sort of uh, eulogizing the late uh, Randy, as it were. You know, uh, macho man Randy Savage, of course, he passed away. We know that he was driving on the freeway and he suffered a heart attack. Woo! He did, yes, he, he did suffer a heart attack and he crashed in, but he wasn't dead immediately. The paramedics, in fact, they came up to him and they said, macho man, well, they said, Randy, you're going to die, but we have to ask, are you going to be cremated or are you going to be buried? And Macho Man thought for a second, and then he said, Dig it! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. What a great tribute you to the late... You show respect! That's true. The people that came before you. That's Randy true. Savage, greatest man I ever met in my life. Okay, I... I Shut your mouth, fat boy. Okay, Get out! I'm, so, I'm sorry. I love this crowd. Give it up for yourselves. Show Thank you very some much. respect! Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry. Show some respect to the people that brought you here! Which I'm one... I'm drooling. I know, I'm so Which one of those jokes was the joke of the week? I don't know. I don't know either. You're doing bad. You're I doing got bad. a real special person here right now. Uh, you're excuse my friend Conrad. And uh, from what I heard at Ric Flair message boards, he is my number one. Woo! Number one fan. I'm your number one fan. I've been number watching, one. I've been watching you for over 30 years. Start watching Georgia Championship Wrestling. It's probably before your time, nurse. Watch Nature Boy, Ric Flair, all his matches, Woo! Four Horsemen. Oh, he's wonderful. I can't believe you. Let me, your biggest Woo! fan. You just gotta relax. Come on. Travel with you and collaborate with you and be your friend. I'm so happy to to know you, Rick. I mean, isn't it great to have a legend in the house tonight? Everybody. Woo! Everybody. I mean, Nature Boy's been through so much. You know, he's had a lot of a lot of hard matches in his career. You know, but I mean, you used to, how much did you used to wrestle? I don't even know. I wrestled five times a week, twice on Saturday, twice on Sunday. That's nine times. <laughs> Woo! That's right. That's right. And I don't understand how you found so much time to go to Disneyland in between all those, always riding Space Mountain, whatever you do. <laughs> how'd you do that? How'd you get from, how'd you get from Greensboro Coliseum on Saturday to, to Disneyland Saturday night to ride Space Mountain with all the ladies? Space Mountain? Oldest ride in the park with the longest line. <laughs> Where I go, the party follows. And if that means I want to ride Space Mountain, then I just got to look right outside my dressing room door. And there's a line of 18-year-old girls rave action. Woo! -woo. I, I leave them smiling, and, or maybe I leave them crying. Oh, but I have fun doing it there. Yeah. But nature, but how did how'd you get into the, how'd you get in the theme park at overnight after hours with all those young women to ride a roller coaster? Well, I don't know. I've never been on a roller coaster in my life. I'm terrified of that kind of velocity. But you know, Ric Flair, he led a hell of a life. That's Every right. day, I would go right. finish my match right. with my arm raised, and then I'd go out to all the bars. Bars in Charlotte. Bars in Greensboro. Greensboro yep. Bars in Atlanta. Atlanta, Georgia. 
Miami, Florida. Flor my Tampa, Florida. Tampa, Florida. Orlando, Florida. Orlando. New York City Studio 54, right. baby. Woo! I went all of them. And I partied, and I would party all till 5 a.m., and then I'd be up at 6 a.m. Ready to do calisthenics, ready to do exercises, do my push ups, my sit ups, and I. Uh, I operated as the top uh, top athlete in the world. You can ask anybody. That's Woo! right. I mean, Nature Boy, you had. I don't think I need to remind all your fans of all your greatest matches, but I mean, you had so many classics with somebody who I personally. I mean, Ric Flair was my favorite, and this man was my least favorite. Dusty Rhodes. I hate his guts. Dusty Rhodes, that fat flubber son. He's got more flubber than brains. That's right. I hate him. He I always, sucks. I always he couldn't he's... lace my boots. He could only That's spit right. on him and shine him. You know, and you rest. I remember when you went 60 minute draw, I thought it was unfair. I thought the referee was in, in this man's pocket. You remember Sting? I hate Sting's guts. He rode my coattails. The only reason right. why he would have 60 minute matches is because he was in the ring with a 60 minute man in both ways, ladies. Woo! I hate his guts. He sucks. He's a piece of crap. I hate him. That's right. I agree. I didn't like him either. I thought he looked cheap in that face paint. He sucks. But now, your best now, I think we can all agree, his, when you think of Ric Flair and his legendary matches, mm -hmm. you got to think of Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, who you wrestled. <laughs> you wrestled for 13, 15 years. You guys wrestled a whole generation together. A whole generation. Ricky Steamboat is the greatest man I ever knew. Right. He, we fought each other one million times. <laughs> and we wrestled 60 minutes every time. That's right. He's the greatest man I ever met. That's right. Yeah, I think you're upsetting him. You know, I, it's no, actually time a... for your medicine, Rick. I don't want it. And you, you can't make you me take it. You're gonna need the medicine. I don't want it. It makes me Rick, tired. Rick, don't tell him. He's the Rick, world you champion. You shut your you mouth. Take it. You shut your take mouth. It. You get out of here. You get it. I'm not putting it. You go on. We need one more. I don't want another. Yeah, I have one more. I don't want I have another. One more. I don't. You, you want, put that near my mouth. You you're gonna get chapped. You're gonna get stuck. <laughs> and you're gonna get the big you for it like. Whoa. Do you want me to chew it up for you like whoa. last time? Do you want me to chew it up for you like last time? No. Huh? Huh? <gasps> all right. All right. Uh, there you go. Mmm. Oh. Woo. Mm. Shut up. I hate you. You don't hate you me. You suck. You don't hate me. You I watch. Know you, suck. you watch out, nurse. I'll report you to the board. The board of what? The board of medicine. They, I don't. Re that's not really going to do anything. Uh, we'll, well, we'll see about that. Okay. I mean, I rode all over the country, beating people up, winning titles, sixteen times. Woo! I shit my pants. No, you didn't. Uh, no, I crap my pants. Rick, did you wear your diaper? I'm not wearing my diaper. Oh, Jesus you Christ! You have to go Rick. out to my car. Hey, get my adult diapers. Okay. Or I, else I'll, I'll make you famous by beating your back. I, where did, where did, did you, where did you park it? I parked it somewhere. It's on 60th okay, Street. Do you have the, the Subaru or the the Honda? Today? I drove my Subaru. I'll get the, I'll get the diapers. Go on, doctor. It's getting a little stuffy in here. Off with you, stupid pig. Come right. You got my phone call before the show, right? Oh, absolutely, sir. You, you want your, uh, you want your juice? I want my real medicine. <laughs> Give it to me. This cost me $50. This is a high class. Woo! Let me get a little zoom on that. It's a rum. All right, yes. Ric Flair needs his juice. <laughs> Whoa! 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 I feel I'm styling, woo, and Doc, profiling, Rick, and I am ready for the show. What are you doing? What are you doing? Doctor, he's I all am, better. He's all better. Styling doctor. and profiling. You don't even know the first of it, son. Okay, you, you got to hold on, though, okay? Who's on the phone? Are there anybody here that called 212-757-1393? Tell me things that make you go, woo, Andy, from Jersey City, you're on with Ric Flair. Hello? I'm, I'm talking to you, Andy. Hi, Rick. Hi, Rick. Whoa! I don't know you that well, but I'm happy to be talking to you. You're talking to the Rolex wearing, diamond ring wearing, kiss stealing, whoa, wheeling dealing, limousine riding, 
Jet flying, son of a gun, and I'm having a hard time keeping my Ferragamos down, brother. Woo! Woo! What's your, what's your, what makes you go woo? Um, seeing my friends play music live, <laughs> like Phil from Accounting. Oh. Phil from Accounting, musical guest tonight. Are you watching for them? Are you watching for the living legend, Rick Flair? <laughs> I'm watching for them. Hey, no, 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 you suck! Get off my phones! Get out of here! We got no Whoa. respect. No Tanner respect. From New Jersey. You're talking to the Rolex wearing diamond ring wearing kiss stealing. Whoa! We don't get it. Limousine riding. Jet flying. Son of a gun. What makes you go? Woo! <laughs> Woo! I actually uh get off of him. Hey, I, I actually uh, have a question for that Arn Anderson-looking motherfucker on the couch. Arn! <laughs> you look like Arn, that's why I like you so much. Well, we do both like to wear khakis with our polo shirts buttoned up, but that's all right. Yeah, what's your question, young fella? So, like, you've been on the show a couple times. Like, what do you actually do? <laughs> <laughs> well, I help, I'm, I'm, I'm Major Boy Ric Flair's biggest fan. But like, what do you, what do you do for work? <laughs> I'm disabled. Why? I, I was just very curious about who you are as a person. <laughs> he has a job. He is the moderator of RicFlair.com slash forums. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I do volunteer my time. In the dot-com industry, that's right. But what do you do? What's your name, son? Tanner? I sent him a CD of images, a beat, and he put them on the internet. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Woo! Woo! That was Woo! 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 That's right. Where's my chair? Right. Uh, come on. Uh, well, okay. Shut up. <laughs> we, or do we have any more calls? We've got a very special guest. Please, all the way from New Zealand. Please, put your hands together. Whoa, for Mo Kerr. Yeah. Woo. How you doing, brother? I'm Rick Flair. Well, nice to meet you. Dr. Guy. Come on, sit down right here. Mm -hmm. Hey, sit right here. Whoa. <laughs> nice to sit Whoa. with you. All right. How are you? Yeah. Why? Why aren't you living life? Honestly, I woke up a bit late today and just kind of pretty tired. But um, but your you know your outfit's waking me up. This guy's here. Woo! Hello. Hello. His All fifty thousand right. dollars outfit. How much did your cost? On it. Uh, so probably like twelve ninety eight for the pants. <laughs> um, kind of found this one this morning. You come to my place, yeah. I'll dick you out in the finest suits. Hugo Boss, Calvin Klein, what? whatever you want, I got it. I'm fucking in. Let's do it. So you're originally from New Zealand? Um, yeah. And now you're living in the Big Apple, New York City. Yeah. Why'd you make the move? Honestly, um, just more people there. So. All right. <laughs> <laughs> now, tell me a little bit about how you got your start. You're a musician, hmm. you're a comedian. Bam. How many things are you? How many hyphenates is in your multi hyphenate? Whoa. Um, so I don't know if you know much about New Zealand, but there's not much to do there. So you just kind of do take on hobbies and try to turn those into. I had a 30 minute match with King Tonka in New Zealand, and I won. Woo! <laughs> yeah. That was one of the few events to happen in the last couple of decades. It was pretty I remember, exciting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Made the so, front page. Yeah, no, I saw that. It was um, right there next to. Um, it was the whole front page. Actually, there's nothing else on. There's nothing that happens there. Uh, now you're, you're talking about your home, but you're saying not a lot happens there. Not a lot happens there, no. But I heard that you're one of the most famous people from there. Um. Well, I mean, that's not really saying much. <laughs> in the sense that it's kind of like saying, oh. You're one of the people there. So who are the people from New Zealand? Rank yourself. Where do you fall yeah. between? Who's up top yeah. and who's right here? All right, who's so right below? Yes, yeah, so there's Joe. 
and um, he's kind of like way up there. Like All right. Easily near the top. And then there's like Brandon, and he's kind of like, you know, he's there as well. He's real cool. He kind of he does accents, so you'd be into that. I'm ready. Um, <laughs> I I am dripping with anticipation to see where you fall on the list. Um, I'm kind of like I'm not like halfway. I'm kind of like a bit above half, if anything. So it's kind of like. Is this a list of a hundred? List of a thousand? Oh, it's probably like I'd say it's like near 400, 400, like near the four hundred mark, easily. It's the four hundred ma mark man. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Just met this guy. Love him. Woo! Yeah. So, really? uh, you got into stand-up comedy. Yeah. You were a musician before? Yeah, so I was doing music, and then my bandmates were like, oh, let's start doing live uh, shows. And I was like, okay, well, I'm, I've got stage fright, so if I can do stand-up, I could probably do music. All right, so which came first? Uh, music. Music? So yeah. I this call got no while, right? Yep, yep. I went, I know, you might be surprised, but new musicians love me, rappers love me. I was just hanging out with Offset from Migos, because, <laughs> and he gave me a chain that had my face on it. Woo! Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, Offset. You're friends with him? No, no, but like one time, like I saw a guy and he, he kind of looked similar. Uh-huh. Yeah. He had the whole braids and the sunglasses. Yeah, it was in New Zealand as well. So it was kind of shocking because not many black people there, so it was kind of like, oh. So you recognize it, you say, hey, what's up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, anytime you see another black person in New Zealand, you have to kind of be like, whoa, what's, what's your story? What do you, what's the story there? Yeah, okay. I do that with 18 year old girls. Woo! <laughs> That's right, he does. Yeah. I have sex yeah. with 18 year old girls. That's right. Well, everyone's got their kind of hobbies, I guess. <laughs> Is... So are you doing comedy in New York? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, I've been telling jokes every now and again, like, um, told one the other day as well, so. <laughs> you know what I'd be dying for? If what? you told a Ric Flair joke! Woo! <laughs> oh. Help me. Help um. me. He's cover him, nurse. I'm sorry. He's What's disgusting. your name, Nurse Jackie or something? Nurse John. John. Nurse John. Yeah. It's nice to meet you. What are you talking about in your stand-up acts? Um, just kind of like growing up in New Zealand, coming to New York and like, uh, just, uh, News, you know. Um, I heard you got a crazy opinion about how New York is different from New Zealand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean it's not crazy. It's just like uh, it's an opinion, I guess. Woo! <laughs> yep. What's I mean, the difference? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. Got one. Got, got got an opinion about it. It's it's uh just like you know. <laughs> the way they drive on the streets. Yeah, they drive on the opposite side of the street. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Yep, so wow. that's it's a bit weird. So you drive on the other side. Yeah, so like if we we're both driving at the same time, right. I'd be like So you'd be the driver. Wait, who's the driver of the car? We're sitting right here. Oh, I guess in this scenario, uh, right. in America, I'm the driver, but in New Zealand, you're the driver. You ever take a wow. drive on the wild side? <laughs> Woo! Yeah, yeah, not much in New Zealand, there's not much wild. I mean, there's trees, so that's nice. I love trees. Lots of those. I love trees so much. Yeah. Conservation! Woo! Yeah, yeah, big, yeah, very important conservation and sustainability in New Zealand. You're not allowed much trash as well. You get fined when you have too much trash in New Zealand. Now, where do you perform around New York City? Um, just kind of like... You do the clubs, you do cool basements, you do yeah, arenas. I kind of do like nice hipster spots, like, you know, movie theater or something. I just did a movie theater, I did the Sunshine Theater, the last ever show at the Sunshine before it's demolished. But just the other you day. You opened up for a movie? No, we actually just made, we took over the theater and did a big comedy show and a, and a music show and kind of, it was the last ever thing and then now it's being demolished. The Sunshine Theater is going to be a commercial building, glass box. I might buy an apartment there. Penthouse sweet, baby. <laughs> Woo! I mean, it's, it's definitely your style, I'll give you that. Um, but... How do the people respond to you? Do they make fun of your voice? Because I'm listening and your voice you sounds know. a little stupid to me. <laughs> <laughs> but I know you can't help it because it's where you're from. No. Nah. Um, no, I can't. Uh... I think your accent's kind of nice. Well, thanks. <laughs> okay, yeah. It's you know. love, You know, it's just I'm born with it. Obviously. 
<laughs> Me too. Yeah, I mean, I like yours, to be honest. It's pretty nice. Thanks. Kind of soothing, if anything. I try. Yeah. Now, you are also interested in design. You created the fashion line. I love ugly. No, I didn't create it. My friend created it, and then I did the marketing stuff. So you, pro you promoted it? I promoted it, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a promoter, mm -hmm. just like Wally Carvel. Man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Famous promoter. Yep, yep. The, the Midwest. <laughs> yeah, yeah. America. Oh, nice. Yeah. Now, uh, 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 I actually have my own clothing line. I sell custom-made suits for the styling and profiling man. Wow. I also sell lots of cheap t-shirts with my face on it and ones that say woo. Right. And then, if you look on my website, and this is real, I sell consent forms, sexual consent forms, for your dates. How would you help me promote that? <laughs> this is real. Look it up. Learn to love it. Because it's the best thing going. Woo! Uh, probably do like an email, like a mailer. MailChimp! Yep. Mailchimp! Yep. Now why don't you tell me about Pickup? Pickup, all right, so Pickup's a music community. <laughs> what yeah. kind of music do you promote? Oh, so it's like live music, it's like a live music community on Instagram, it's amazing, and it's uh, you know very fast growing, it's one of the biggest communities now. Now so. what distinguishes that from your average music site? Well, more than anything, it's the fact that it celebrates a lot of these up-and-coming kind of bedroom musicians as well as the big guys and kind of gives them an equal opportunity to kind of get exposure and get their sound out there and, you know, build their own followings. It's kind of a big community now and, yeah, it's a, proud to be a partner. So you got your finger on the pulse. Yeah. Who are you liking? Who are you spinning? Who are you listening to? Who are you oh, wow. So there's one girl called Emily Browning is pretty good. She's from New Zealand as well. Uh, she's from Christchurch. She's very talented. Where does she fall on the list? <laughs> oh, she's easily near the top. All right. You know, she's just an uh, amazing voice uh, and just did it out of her bedroom and just built a good following very fast. And uh, yeah. So trying to, you know, give back to these musicians in a sense. Now, uh, it's the largest live music community on Instagram. What does that mean? Um, it's just a big community and it's very engaged and you know starting to do a lot of shows and it's just uh, gives artists a chance to Marquee! Yeah. That's usually I usually say my name's on the marquee and that's the that's the hand I make. Yep, yep, <laughs> yep. So what's next for you? You multi hyphen? Are you adding more hyphens? Are you doubling down on any of them? Yeah, so what's next is, um, I was going to go to the diner after this. There's a diner around the corner that I checked out so with a couple of my friends. Ian, where are you at? Ian! Yeah. Ian, do you want to come on and strut? Come on. Come on, Ian. Ian, yo, Ian. Come on, Ian. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There he is. He's amazing. He's got his shirt. Yeah, flag, just do flag. one of these. Love it. Yeah. yeah. Woo! 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 It, Woo! Hey. Woo! Whoa, whoa, friend whoa. Ian. Come get it. <laughs> Take a seat here. Sure, sit down, Ian. What's on, your deal? Right here. What's so, my deal? Dude. Just friends with Mo. Yeah, we're mates. We're both wearing plaid. Is that is that like a New Zealand thing, mates? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. It okay. doesn't mean we're actually mating. Oh, yeah, okay. I was just checking. Oh. <laughs> so you two are going to the diner. Yeah. How yeah. about instead of that, we all go to the bar. <laughs> we do shots and shots and shots and shots. And then we find the sloppiest women in the bar. <laughs> and we take them on. And we take them on Space Mountain. Woo! Take them for a ride. And then we wake up and go to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be good for you at all. Woo! Yeah, um, kind of good with the diner, to be honest. Like, pan, you know, maybe like a nighttime pancake. <laughs> What's wrong with this young generation now? Or you do sit and you play your video games and you go on your Snapchats and you don't go out and party and have sex with everybody without protection. <laughs> what is wrong with us? I mean, I was kind of excited. I thought it was kind of like a while enough to go to the pa uh, get a pancake at night. You're the voice of New Zealand youth. You could be setting an example for them, like I did, telling people to drink heavily and do lots of drugs, like I did. And now you're just saying, have pancakes. Pancakes are bad for you. Well, I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> I'll tell you what, all right? 
You come with us to the diner. Woo! You know? Uh-huh. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> then what? And then uh, we can do, you know, do a little bit of, you know. Uh-huh. <laughs> a little bit of that. So yeah. A little bit of that. You go out to the studio get a couple of maybe? Get a couple of pancakes, okay. you know? Some whipped cream. Yeah, get some hot Whoa. chocolates. Because it's, it's too late get for caffeine. Get some hot chocolate, about a quarter cup. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I like a little hot chocolate. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he'll be up all night. If you yeah. Yeah. I don't think he's not gonna be up all night. I'm gonna you put it bad, baby. <laughs> Whoa! Then what? Hurt yourself. Um. Then all right. So well, we've eaten. We've got a bit of hot chocolate in us, and uh, a little bit of woo. Little woo. And then uh, yeah. And then we just kind of do that a little bit. I don't know. Like uh, I can't do that. All right. uh, that's actually one thing I can't do anymore. All right. Then, then we just go out, we hit the clubs. We hit the clubs! Woo! We hit all of them. Midnight can't come fast enough! <laughs> and I'm ready to dance. Tonight's musical guest, have an EP entitled, if you're reading this, please call mom. Available now on Bandcamp, on Spotify, on Apple Music. You can see him perform at the Gunner, woo, in BK on March 1st, 9 p.m. Please welcome Phil from Accounting, woo! Yeah. One, two, Lucy Lou. Rich. Where are my adult diapers? I think your car got towed, man. I... Woo! You... I live a crazy life! I told you not to park it in Times Square. Then why don't you strut on over to the CVS and get me some Depends? Go. Or else I'll kick your ass. <laughs> Out of here, fat boy! <laughs> you remember what the second thing I requested from you was? Yes. Yes, sir. Did you bring it for me, my friends? That's right. I went to Times Square and talked to a very scary man. 
<laughs> I think I got the right thing. <laughs> what do you have here? Oh, I've got a little friend of mine. The white lady herself. You're talking about, woo, cocaine, baby. <laughs> That's right. I don't condone this, but it's the only thing that keeps him going. If you want to enjoy your pancakes later, you're going to have a little snort of this because it's going to be the greatest thing you've uh, ever had before. Yeah, I didn't think that was what we were going to be doing here, to be honest. You um, didn't, you thought you were coming on a talk show. Yeah. You wouldn't be starting cocaine with Ric Flair? <laughs> they didn't give me the memo, to be honest. I didn't even, I didn't did you get an email? No. Do you have a problem with me snorting no, cocaine I mean, in the air? Uh, yeah, no, no, of course not. Do it. All right. Do it. Woo! <laughs> Sit your ass okay, down. They didn't, they didn't have depends. So I got you some America. thick underwear for later. I good. I'm gonna Sorry. need it. Cause my next guest might make me shit my pants again. <laughs> She's the comedian as swell from New York City. Please give it up for Karen G. Woo! Oh, nice to meet you, too. Hey, Karen G. Hi. Rick Blair. Hi, Rick. Whoa. Nice to meet you. Nurse, Nurse John. Hi, Nurse, Nurse John. John. You seem very soft. Hey. Congratulations are in order. Thank you so much. You're a graduate. I am, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of the most prestigious Starbucks university in the world. Oh, wow. Yeah. Harvard University. Give this woman a hand. Woo. She graduated yeah. Woo, from Harvard. Yeah, no, that's true. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate that. How are you finding post-grad life in the big city? Um, the bright lights. That's pretty good. I get to meet cool people like you. Um, I've been just like hanging out, doing shows, meeting people. Yeah. So a writer. Yeah, I am. I'm a writer. Not a comedian. Um, you don't like that designation. Oh, I don't know. I just feel like I'm not... I just have always thought of myself as a writer more than a comedian, but... Oh, how do you feel about being <laughs> called a comedian? Um, it's all right. Yeah? Be like Bo. Okay. <laughs> Own it! <laughs> and then you earn it! Thank you. Well, then it looks like we're two comedians on a couch. Yeah. Yeah. It nice. sounds like a podcast. Yeah, we should. We should totally. I've got a friend that does it. <laughs> so... I have a podcast as well. It's called The Ric Flair Show. And I do a lot of, uh, baby powder. And then I talk to old people about fake things that happened in the past. <laughs> Do you have a lot of listeners? I have the most listeners of any podcast in the world today. That's not true. Oh, okay. This definitely doesn't sound like it's kind of it like... It used to be called Woo Nation. Woo oh, Nation! That's but funny. then we had to change the name for legal reasons. That makes sense. I'm really All sorry. Right. Sorry for interrupting. You're a contributor. To McSweeney's, the New Yorker. I got some of your titles here. Rejection slogans for the Democratic Party's new agenda. Easy ways for Asian American girls to fit in. He's, I'm here in politics. I'm here in social commentary. Tell me, is that what you do? Is that what you're known for? Um, yeah, I guess so. I usually, I read about a lot of stuff that makes me mad. Um, so I'll read something and be like, oh, that's annoying, and then I try and make it funny. You know what made me mad? What? That people wouldn't give Mike Huckabee a fair shake after I stumped for him in every state. In Tampa, Florida. In St. Louis, Missouri. In Kansas City. Kansas. In Kansas City, Iowa. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Were you outraged by that? Um, honestly, not really. Then what makes you outraged? Um, you know, I don't know. Lots of lots of different things. So things that are like, you seem like you're in agreement. When he doesn't drink his Pedialyte in the morning. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's just, <laughs> it's like the rest of the day's ruined. I'm Racism so is a big yeah. one for me. <laughs> That's your point. Racism. Racism. My best friend was the junkyard dog. You might remember him. He walked around in chains and barked like a dog. But he was a civil rights leader. Oh. And I respected him more than anybody in the locker room. 
How was he a leader? What did he do? He stood up for people. Okay. People like Dusty Rose, that racist son of a bitch. I hate your guts. <laughs> I'm glad you're dead. Woo! <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. No, I also hate racism. Yeah, it's like that's a main my, one for that's me. That's a very big one. Yes. All right, so it makes you angry. <laughs> yeah. And you can't take it out in the ring like Ric Flair. How do you, yeah. but it's a question for both of you. How do you make it funny? How do you make it uh, so that anybody can understand, even if they're white like Rick, or they're <laughs> like you too, or they're dumb like him? I'm sorry. No, I'm not dumb. So oh, it's okay. <laughs> you seem kind of clever to me, to be honest. Yeah, thank you. I really couldn't tell. Oh, Intuitive. Yeah. I submitted to McSweeney's, but they oh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so how do you make it palatable? How do you make it funny when you're so mad at the world? Um, I don't know. Do you have any? Th I basically, if something makes me angry, it's usually you can figure out. There's one part of it that's like hypocritical or weird or just sort of silly and how stupid it is, and then I sort of make fun of that. Um, so usually it's making fun of people who are being mean to other people as opposed to the people who are like the victims of a situation. I hate when people are mean. Yeah, no, me too. You're mean to me all the Shut time. Shut up! <laughs> you're ugly and you're fat and you're bored stupid. I lost 35 pounds since I've known you because of all this fat comments. Woo! 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 woo. I look great. I feel like I look good. And you now. should you thank look him, good. Nurse Jackie, for what he's done for your figure. No, he would hide my lunch. Oh my god. He would hide my lunch and laugh. It's a different diet plan, isn't it? That sounds terrible. More as a person that didn't grow up here. How do you feel about the president? And when I talk about the president, I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about Donald Trump. How do you feel about that? And then, question for both of you how do you make it for me? All right. Oh, wow. So before I answer that, I have to make it very clear that I'm here on a visa, so... <laughs> you should probably be quiet. Yeah. Maybe stay out so, of this. So um, what I will say is... <laughs> I feel that way, too, mainly because you wouldn't put me on Celebrity Apprentice. <laughs> Well, how do you make it funny? You're not going anywhere! No, I'm not. I'm born and raised here, so I'm stuck here, I so guess. so cool, though, because you get to just say I stuff. I get to shit on the president, yeah. Um, <laughs> how do I make him funny? Everything he does, I feel like, is absurd, and so if you're the person who's being attacked by his policies, then it's much harder to make it funny. Um, so far, I feel like not... A couple things he's done have been targeted towards Asian American women or like women in general, but the ones that aren't, I'm sort of like, great, I can figure out the angle on this without feeling too personally weighed down by it or feeling like I might get personal repercussions from speaking up too much about it. Not that you shouldn't speak up, but um, I'll yeah. speak up. I'll cut a promo on his ass. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Donald Trump, who's similar ring with me at the Omni, Atlanta, Georgia, and I will make you cry. I will make you bang, and I will make you tap out to the figure four leg lock. Woo! Maybe you need to do that. Maybe you should wrestle <laughs> Donald Trump. Yeah. Yeah. He'll do it. I He's a WWE he Hall would. of Famer like me. But you are a two-time Hall of Famer. Woo! That's right. Take that, yeah. Trump. You can't have two rings like me. I went in once as my own and once as a technicality because I'm a member of the Four Horsemen. And then you get two Hall of, you get a Hall of Fame ring. That's awesome. He used to wear them, but he had to sell them. I had to sell them to pay alimony. <laughs> uh, You're also sorry. the recipient of the Irma Bumbeck Humorist in Residence Program. What's that? What is that? Oh, oh, thank you. This is so nice. Um, I'm impressed by how much research you've done. Uh, Ric Flair does his research. <laughs> oh, oh, thank yeah, you. I, I thank appreciate you. that. <laughs> um, it's like a new residency program that's come up, and I think it's specifically for um, people who, I don't, who don't identify as men. Um, and it's started by a group of women who are in Ohio, and they wrote, they like created this thing in honor of Irma Bombeck, who was like a woman humorist from the 1900s, and she wrote a lot of really funny books. And so you get to go and live in Ohio for two weeks, um, which sounds maybe not that glamorous, but I'm really stoked because it's in Dayton, and that's where the like the Wright brothers are from. So, yeah. oh, God. Don't get me started about Dayton. You got to go to the Hooters in Dayton. Is that what Dayton's known for? That's what Dayton's known for for the nature boy. <laughs> As you can, he's working and say, Rick misses you. Oh, I will. It's a personal message, isn't it? It's yeah. Nice. Yes. I can pass that along. Now, how do you see women 
Because you're talking about women, people that don't identify as men. Yeah. How can you use humor to make yourself be taken seriously? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I feel like comedy, sort of, you have to inherently be taking up space to be funny, and you have to sort of be like, oh, cool, everybody has to be watching me while I'm doing this. And so inherently, it's pretty empowering. Like, right now, you're all listening to me talk, um, even though I'm not being funny. So that's great. Because your name is on the marquee. Yeah. <laughs> Theoretically, we yeah. don't have a marquee, we have a projector, and my name is on it. Right, that's true. Rick but Flair. theoretically, people are here to see, whoa, you, Gary J. Whoa. Oh, all right, yeah. all right, well, okay. Um, are you sometimes collaborate with people? I do, yeah. <laughs> like Brody Gupta. I do, yes, Brody's awesome. Yeah, how, do, how do you collaborate in writing? So, Brothy and I have actually only met in person for about 20 minutes. Um, and we met on Twitter, because we had both been interviewed by the same column, and we just tweeted at each other, being like, hey, you're funny. Mm. And then started texting, which she could have been like a creepy person who didn't really exist, and I could have been getting catfish, but then I did meet her at one point. Oh. Um, basically, she lives in LA, and I live in New York, so we collaborate on Google Docs, and then just pitch stuff. And now we're very comfortable working together. So, before we used to be more polite about like, skirting around each other's jokes and things we didn't think were maybe as good, but now we're very much like, hey, that one could be better. I like this stuff. That's like me yeah. and LeBron James. Oh. He tells me when my shoes are fab, and I tell him when he's styling the profile. That's awesome. Yeah. Yep. It's, it's 45 version. minutes of this so far, and I'm not slowing down. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm a party animal. Okay. Mo's gonna be a party animal later. Maybe you'll join up. Definitely didn't commit to that. <laughs> you have a colonoscopy in the morning. Shut up! I hate you. <laughs> now I heard you got kicked out of a farm in France. I did, yeah. Rural farm. <laughs> yeah. What'd you do? Um, did you take your robe off and start around naked? <laughs> no. So I, actually, the problem is I wasn't naked. The <laughs> so I was. Why not? I just. <laughs> It's I'm only very... a problem in America, isn't it? What is? It's only a problem in America, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. this yeah. shit wouldn't fly anywhere else. <laughs> <laughs> You're a huge star here. I am yeah. a huge star. Maybe the most <laughs> famous person to ever walk God's greener. Oh, that's real. Um, Tell me about Fred. Yeah, so I was on this farm that I had like found via this organization called Worldwide Opportunities on Organic Farms. Um, so basically you go and in exchange for working for like four to five hours a day, they give you room and board. And I was like, that's a lovely way to see a country. Um, and so I was doing that and it turns out they hadn't specified this to me before, but it was like an LGBTQ farm. Um, and I am a straight girl, sadly. And so I went there, but they hadn't told me this. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever owned space? I never mind. You're talking. <laughs> no, that's OK. So I go onto this farm, and it becomes very clear um, after about a week or so that they're like not happy about the fact that I was there sort of as though I was like, intruding in a safe space, which I feel like makes sense. Like I, So I felt really bad and offered to leave and stuff. And they're like, no, 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 you are supposed to stay for a while, and you're supposed to work for us, so why don't you keep staying? And I was like, great. But they were also very into being naked. And so the people would walk around without their clothes, and there was like a pond on the farm that they would go swimming. Mm. Um, and I'm like very uncomfortable not wearing clothes. So when I like go to bed, I have like a full pajama set on. When no one's around, I'm like always wearing all of my clothes as much as possible. Um, so we just didn't get along on a lot of levels. And eventually, they got so mean to me that I asked if I could leave. Um, and they said, no, you're not leaving. We're kicking you out. And it was like a Sunday. We're in rural France. Nothing runs on a Sunday. There are no taxis or buses or anything. Um, so I had to like Google map and then screenshot how to get out of this village to get to the nearest in your town. And then you drink no, till I you wish. fall asleep. That's <laughs> no. what I would have done. I feel like I might have died if I had done that. Yep. Okay. But the fun thing is, you never die. <laughs> never. That's Words to live amazing. by. Anything? <laughs> You'll never die. Say it. Say it right into the camera, too. Scream it. You'll never die. Say it, Karen G. You'll never die. Never die. You'll never die. Never die. I have a personal question. What do you think of my couch? Honestly, I like it. I feel Isn't like it cool? Yeah, it has like subtle, I don't know what these are, swirls? They're yeah. swirls. Yeah. Just like on my nice. robe. <laughs> oh yeah, they match your robe. Yeah. Yeah, was that intentional? It was intentional. Oh, nice. <laughs>
Do uh, you have any uh, upcoming performances you'd like to promote? Oh, um, I'm doing a thing for Las Culturistas. They're doing a live thing. Woo! On next Friday. I love Las Culturistas! Yay! Yeah, with Matt. And I don't think so, honey! <laughs> I don't think so, honey! Woo! <laughs> When's that? Um, I think it's March 16th. March 16th. Mm -hmm. Great, great day! Yeah, great day. You have day. any performances you'd like to come promote? Uh, kind of, kind of do a little. You know, a little performance in Nairobi. Ooh. Nairobi? Yeah, going with my, uh, one of my best mates, Kamal, talented artist. Uh, what date's that? March 17th. March 17th. So, catch Las Culturistas, March 16th. Then go to Nairobi. <laughs> and catch you. And just catch me, just, you know. And then I'm signing autographs at the Orange County, New York State Fair on <laughs> August 15th. Oh. Every autograph is forty-five dollars. <laughs> Cause of the buy alimony. <laughs> and the diner after this as well. That's and if you're wanting a shot of the chip, light up right outside the diner on 59th Street, and woo, you might get a chance to ride Space Mountain. <laughs> we'll be back after a quick break. Woo! Watch that spider. It's in our kitchen. So it deserves to die? Yeah. I know it might be creepy looking, but that spider is one of God's creatures. I guess I never thought of it that way. No matter how big or small or scary, all of life must be cherished. You're right. Who knows? This little guy could be really important in the spider community. Let's bring him home. There you go, little buddy. <laughs> <laughs> frog boys! Woo! Woo! Give it up! Frog boys! I sent my nurse away. Camera, remember what I called you. Oh, I yeah. asked for three things. I asked for a little bit of fun rum, wherever it may you be. Dro you dropped it on the floor. I dropped it on the floor. I asked for a little bit of cocaine. Where is it? Oh, I put it under I mean, my piece of paper. <laughs> yes, and then I also asked right. for some black tar heroin. You bring it for me. That's right. I went all the way to Jersey City, New Jersey. <laughs> West Woo! side, baby. Get Talk to my friend Russell, right? He <laughs> got it for you, right? Oh, no. Rick, Rick, the, you're, there are no diapers at the gas station. They don't sell them there. I don't know what to do. I mean, you're disgusting right now. How dare you call me disgusting? That's not baby powder, is it? It's, it, is it baby powder? Okay, okay, you know what? That's enough. Whoa! That's enough. Whoa! Set it down, my God. You know what? I hope you get hurt. I've been trying to protect you this whole time, but guess what? I have a little secret for you. I'm not just Nurse John. I'm Nurse John Sting. <laughs> Sting's son. Oh, that's right, that's right. Every single night when he would tuck me in last year, he told me about how you would cheat. Cheat every match. And he never got to win as much no. as you because you were such a cheater. It and doesn't I, matter how you win, it's just a matter that you walk out with the title. The 10,000 right. gold. That's I told right. him I'd get my revenge, but you know what? If you want revenge, then fight me. Fight me like a man, you little pisser. You. you know what? You remind me of my mother. <gasps> you're sad. It's you're old. You don't even have, you you have a missing toe at this point. You got five toes. On this, I got nine good ones. <laughs> Shut up! Fight me like a man. I'm not gonna fight you. you I'll, you're gonna hurt yourself. You'll break a hip or something. You're filled with shit. You're right talking now. to the Rolex wearing, diamond ring wearing, kiss stealing, whoa, wheelie dealing, limousine riding, jet flying, son of a gun. Take a few bedtime in like 20 minutes. Just relax. You're gonna All hurt right. yourself. What? Uh, what are you doing? Uh, 
Oh, I didn't mean to. I swear to God. No, I didn't mean to. I, 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 hold on. You, you, uh, you punch like a girl these days. Look at my name on the marquee. I'm going to look over. The, uh, stop it. Uh, Rick, stop. Uh, Come on. Stop uh, it. I don't need to fight you. I'll fight anybody in this building. I'll fight you. Oh, uh, uh, stop it. Stop fight it. You. <laughs> I'll fight you. Good. I'll kick your ass in the Get out of my way! I'll fight! I don't even care that! Get up, I'll fight! Hey, fight me! Fight me, girl! You! Fight me! Cookie, don't get involved! Don't get involved, Cookie! Fight me! Fight me like you're ready! You! 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 Don't hide behind the camera! Fight me! Fight me! Fuck you! I'm Ric Flair! I'm Ric Flair! Hey, Ric Flair! Hey, Nate. I'll wrestle ya. God. I'll wrestle you. Uh, you guys are gonna get me deported, honestly. Like, I'm not even. <laughs> God. I'll wrestle you. I'll kick your ass, Speck Boy! Oh, wait, I'm stuck in my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Come, on. Right. Come on, champ. <laughs> Come on, get down, fat boy. Woo! No, not, not on me! No, not on me! No, no! no. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, Phil from Accounting. Now 